Hey guys, what's up? It's Scope and Shot, and I'm playing some Mario for three. Uh, what is this? This is, uh, what the hell is it called? Kill Confirmed on Resistance. And I'm using the Type 95, which is the, one of the most strongest guns I've ever had. Look at this right here. Right off the bat, I get a little quad, little quad spray, I guess. So, beast mode. But yeah, Type 95 again. I think I mentioned it in the last commentary because I used this gun in that one too. And this gun is extremely, extremely strong, and it's like it's unbelievable because uh, when you shoot it, well, one, well, the first thing is that this gun is um, is almost always a uh, one burst kill, and it, like whenever you shoot it, the uh, the sights do not bounce at all, so you can always you're not gonna have any problems snapping back on your target because if you miss the first shot, you're gonna be, you're still gonna be right on the target, so you can just kind of move it over like half an inch or whatever, so. Uh, Type 95, a very good gun, but, yeah, there's, a uh, I don't know, I haven't really been using many other weapons, honestly. I've used the SCAR-L and the UMP a lot, and the G36C, which is, in, in my opinion, is my favorite gun in the game. Not necessarily the best gun in the game, though, but I really like the G36 so far, just because, um, I don't know what it, what's, what's, what there is about it, but I've always liked the gun since COD 4. It was my favorite weapon back then, and it is in this game, and... It's in Battlefield 3. I haven't played Battlefield 3 in a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel bad for Battlefield 3 because that game is so good. Yet, Modern for 3, even though it's, I don't think it's that good yet. Um, there's just something about Modern Warfare 3 where you're not going to be able to get off it for like, I don't know, a month or two. So, uh, I look forward to hopefully playing it soon. You know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know when. But... Yeah, Modern Warfare 3 does uh, has been treating me well as of today. There's just something about Kill Confirmed that, uh, you know, I don't know what there is about it. There's just less bullshit. But, yeah, right there, uh, I have my AC-130 on that I want to try to get, and somehow I'm able to evade right there, which is something you're not supposed to be able to do in uh, Modern Warfare 3, but, um, you know, I mean, there's just something about not being able to evade it that just really gets me, but... Yeah, I was trying to camp in there and get my uh, AC-130, but unfortunately, I can't get it, so, <sighs> yeah. But, um, I'd say my, the, I think the best little uh, thing, the, the best little uh, combination for point streaks is, uh, I, I would definitely suggest using the uh, attack helicopter, because even though they, that thing's only 7 kills or whatever, 7, 6 kills, something like that, um, it's worth way more than 6 kills, or 7 kills. There's just, I don't know why, just whenever you use it, uh, that thing almost guarantees you at least four kills, which is usually why I use it whenever I try to go for something higher, such as Pavlo or um, AC-130. I haven't, I haven't gone for the Juggernaut Seed or the Osprey Gunner yet, but I'm sure that'll really help. I would think I would think that a good, uh, good setup for uh, Osprey Gunner would be using the attack helicopter with uh, AC, well, I, I think Pavlo, I mean, yeah... Mm, I don't know. You can use whatever one. I guess it just depends on the map, though. Like, I don't know, maybe on the more closed maps, uh, you'd probably want to go with the Pavlo because AC-130 might be a little bit hard to find people in the buildings, but I think Pavlo might be, I don't know, it might be a stretch to give you four kills. Well, not really. I mean, I think they average about four kills, but sometimes they do they do, do a lot worse. So, um, but yeah, definitely for Osprey Gunner, I would definitely start out with the attack helicopter, though. Because that thing is very, very strong in this game. And it's almost annoying because I'm always getting the one getting targeted by it. But, <laughs> oh well. But uh, another thing to do is uh, definitely try this, the, the specialist package if you haven't yet. Because specialist package is um, very, very, I guess, good. I don't know. I actually haven't used it yet. But, <coughs> but a lot of my friends have been saying that the uh, specialist package gets you a whole bunch of points. And I guess you're like... Uh, totally like <laughs> invincible well not really but I guess you're pretty uh, pretty invincible when you're using it so and I guess you get like double points or something for kills I guess I don't know I really don't know much about it I just heard this from other people so um, right there someone's got the Reaper and also um, if you guys haven't tried out the overwatch the what's it called AH6 overwatch the AK the little bird guard try it out because I really like it uh, it's actually it's been pretty decent if you if you're just going for your highest kill trick as a um, Pavlo slash AC-130, uh, using so, something like the Predator missile, which almost always guarantees you one more kill, plus the attack or no, plus the uh, 
little bird guard will usually get you to your AC-130. Just try it out. You'll see it eventually. But anyways, thanks for watching. Like the video, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Have a nice day.